Hey guys, this is Megan Hilt, and I wanted to do a tag video for you guys. So I found a tag I'm really interested in. I don't have all the answers, so we'll see what happens. So here we go. This is the 15 random questions tag. Question number one, what's a nickname only your family calls you? That would be Meg Meg, and only my dad calls me that. I hate that nickname. I let him call me that just because he really likes it. I hate it though, so don't call me Meg Meg. Watch, you're all gonna be like, ha ha ha, Meg Meg, like in the comments. Number two, what's a weird habit of yours? I don't know if this counts, but um, I guess the weirdest habit-ish thing I would have is that I become obsessed with something and then that kind of obsession takes over my life for like three-ish months and then it kind of goes away and I become obsessed with something else and then the process starts again. So like right now, this is such a horrible thing to say I'm obsessed with, but not, not, okay, well anyway, let me just say, I'm currently right now, I am obsessively researching into the JonBenet Ramsey case. I have read in, in the past, I've read every single book written about it. I've seen every documentary. I thought I knew everything about it. And then I watched the CBS two-part special thing recently, and I realized that there's still a lot of stuff that I didn't know because it wasn't really publicized. So now I'm obsessively researching into the things I didn't know before. That's just an example. So I'll be on this for about three months, and then I'll find something else to obsess over for another three months. That's just um, a weird habit, I guess. Number three is, do you have any weird phobias? <laughs> I do. I hate, hate non-human movements. Like, for instance, like weird, like, 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 like creepy, like, ooh, I got creepy doing it. Like weird, like creepy, like, um, head movements that like shouldn't, like, the like, creepy non-human head movements, um, <clears throat> Anything non-human, or if something looks very, very real and it's not, like dolls that look too human, but they're not human, they don't like, I'm not super scared of them, but they do freak, they, they, they do freak me out a little bit. Like, I'm, it makes me very uncomfortable. I get very, like, creepy feelings. Uh, Garrett the other day was walking down the hallway like this, like, towards me, and I was just like, nah, no. <laughs> Nope. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Right now, it's probably Burn from Hamilton, but it's just random, like, it'll just be random Broadway songs, really. It's nothing in particular, just random Broadway songs. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? Recently, um, it's been when people are unprofessional in the workplace. I do not like unprofessional people in the workplace, whether that's a boss or a coworker. I don't like that. If if you don't think I performed, I did it. Did my job performance was very good on something? You should talk to me about it instead of giving me the silent treatment or talking about me to other coworkers or something like that. I don't like unprofessional. Um, professionalism in the workplace basically that's a big pet peeve oh we disrespect that's up there that's getting up there too I used to not really care but recently because I've been I felt like I've been so disrespected this last year or so disrespect has really bothered me <laughs> um, I really really don't like it what's one of your nervous habits I will sit there in a chair if I'm doing something and I will rotate one of my ankles continuously. So pretend this is my ankle, and I'll go, and I'll rotate it, and I'll rotate it until like it hurts. That's one. Another one I do is I will draw stars with my finger. I'll go, or the biggest one is um, I have a nervous habit where I'll I'll write my name in cursive, like like I'm signing it. Like I'll just go like, like I'll do that a ton. Like I think Tim, when one of the times we had, not a date, but we were going somewhere, we were going to Walmart together and we weren't dating yet, but I was sitting there and one of my nervous habits, you know, is a star thing. So I was just doing this. He's like, what are you doing? And I was like, uh, nothing. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Um, let me look. I sleep on the left side of the bed. So I sleep closest to the window. I sleep on the left side of the bed. And I think I always, ha I've always, yeah, I've always slept on the left side of the bed. I don't know why, but I like it. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? 
I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just going to go with the generic answer. I had a lot of Barbie, uh, Barbie. I had a lot of Barney stuffed animals. Way too many. It's actually kind of embarrassing. Um, and its name was Barney because it was Barney. So I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe you guys watch me. I'm so sorry. What drink do you always order at Starbucks? Oh, it depends on what I want. Mmm. Generally, me and Tim will split a um, mocha frappuccino. Like, that's generally what we split. I like the... Oh, it's like mint, like mocha mint or mint mocha one. I like that one a lot. The mint, the mocha mint frappuccino or something like that. I really like that one. That comes out around Christmas. Peppermint, pe peppermint mocha. Oh, that's good. That comes out around Christmas, but I think you can get it year round. And if I'm going to get like a, just a normal refresher drink, one of those, I love those refreshers. Um, I get the lime one, but I don't know if they have that anymore. I love the lime refresher. What's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? I guess in a lot of videos, I'll, I'll talk about putting on, I do do this a lot, more, more often than not lately, but I don't always do it. Um, I, I, there's nothing I actually preach, but I never actually do. But sometimes I do, I do preach about putting on eyeshadow, like doing your eyes before you do your face makeup because of fallout and stuff. But I don't always do that. A lot of the times I'll just do it face and then eyes and then I'll just touch up fallout with like powder foundation so I don't know I don't really have anything I tell you guys that's awesome and then I like don't actually ever do like I don't have anything like that which way do you face in the shower that's the weirdest question I've ever heard in my life towards the water <laughs> unless I'm doing unless I'm like that's a stupid question though I don't know I face towards the water and then sometimes I turn away when I'm getting my shampoo out. I don't really know. Both ways? All the ways? I don't know. That's a weird, weird question. Do you have any weird body skills? I can crack my entire foot if I just go like, like, this is my foot of magic. I can crack like everything and I can go like crack, 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 crack. I don't know if that counts. I can also like burp the ABCs very, very well. Like so good. You guys don't even know. Like I'm so proud of that that I wish I could put it on like a resume. But I can't because that's lame. But man, I'm good at that. I can also burp like like sentences. Like, oh, so good. I am so classy. But probably the one I used to do, it was a party trick I used to do back in high school. <laughs> my dentist, man. I hope my dentist doesn't ever watch this video. But I would bite holes in like aluminum Coke cans or whatever. I had have, I still have very strong teeth actually. And I would just like bite a hole in it and rip it and never really had any problems um you gotta be careful not to like cut the corner of your mouth though don't do that don't do that. i don't even do that anymore but that's i guess a weird skill i had what's your favorite comfort food slash food that's bad to eat that's bad but you love to eat it anyway i don't know it changes sometimes it's sushi sometimes it's indian food Recently, it's been um, giant burritos from La Hacienda. We go there a lot. I love that place. They have these burritos that um, are the size of like, that's probably what it is. Um, they have burritos that are the size of like an infant. They're very, very big. And you, you basically can get three meals out of them. They're huge. But a lot of the times, I'll just make it, it'll be two meals. It'll be, and, and it's big. It's, so it's very bad for you, but very, very good. I guess that would be the good answer for that. What's a phrase or explanation you always say? I still say yo a lot. Um, yo is no longer cool apparently, so my kids tell me, not my kid like Garrett, but my kids that I work, worked with, yo is no longer in, but I love yo, and I will never, I'll never stop saying yo, so I guess yo, slang from, slang from the 90s until like 2008, maybe a little later, like 2010, I still use those slang words, boss, epic, I still use the slang from back then, so I don't really have a particular, like, phrase I say, like, 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 oh, it's Megan, like, I don't have anything like that, but I do say, like, slang words that are really out of date. Time to sleep, what are you actually wearing? When I go to bed, I will wear, usually the pants I've worn that day, unless they're, like, gross for some reason, but I'll wear those, the pants I've worn that day, because they're normally pretty comfy pants. And then I will either wear a tank top or a lightweight t-shirt, or if it's really, really hot, I'll just go to bed with like a sports bra. 
it depends on the day. I'm going to leave all of these questions down below for you guys if you're interested in doing this tag. I tag Lainey and the Side Geeks over at Zany Lainey. Anyone that wants to do this tag, I tag you too. So if you're watching this video, I, I've tagged you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any tags that you want me to do, put them down below and I'll try to do them. I, I think tags are fun. So thank you so much for watching, and this is Megan Hilt out.